1994, Heather. Yeah, I ain't gonna even start that, man. Oh, I got you. I ain't supposed to cuss, right? You can say whatever you want on this show, man. I ain't gonna cuss, though. You've earned it, man. Thank you, Heather. You a pillar in the game. Cheers! You know what I mean? We got it. We got it. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, man, live is burst on Uchi Wally. <laughs> Big horse here, too, man. I'm sorry, Nas. You a legend, but he got you on that one, bro. <laughs> Nas took an L on Uchi Wally, <laughs> B. No offense, Heather, but he did that. He did that. He did that. Yo, horse, stand eight, up so they can see you for the camera, man. Big horse, horse here, too, man. Yeah. Love that dude. Man, we got two pioneers. I'm not going to do the long intro. I know I'm going to do I got do. you. I got you. You know why? Because if you don't know, then that's hey, your fault. Yeah, at this point. But I will mention that in 94 when that Takao album came out. Yeah. I have to mention that because that hasn't been in enough conversations about greatest projects put together. You right. have to understand the environment, the times at that time, who this man is was and what he represented mm -hmm. you know there are a lot of people um and our, our next guest is one of them i consider because of their style right their style was so unique mm -hmm. that they created a lot of children off of it and they influenced a era mm -hmm. at time rakim's done that you know um uh, melly mel has done that mm -hmm. Um, I give him an M props because mm -hmm. he's given birth to a nation. And factor in <laughs> the level of competition when it was done. When it was done yeah. to cow. Got to factor in the level of competition. Oh, what I else was going was on? About Black Thor nah, no, I thought y'all talking about Black Thought. Nah, I'm talking about you, man. I <laughs> Yo, I, give it up for I, Method Man. Nah, man. We <laughs> going have to I, Man. I, you. Nah, cause, cause nah, we got that's him. That's how I felt about the roots, my oh, No oh, doubt. Really? No yeah, doubt. Really? No doubt. We got no doubt. Well, well, you then we go back to 1993 mm. when Organics came out. Mm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I and I remember. I always like to bring this up. I don't even know if um, Black Thought remembers, but. I remember when King Tech was pushing these dudes so hard with MCA and all the uh, Wendy Goldstein and all yeah, those guys. Yeah, and uh, uh, I remember having them come do a show for us at the Lamert Park Theater. And it's on the West Coast. On the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they played, they were the backing band. And it was before people were really, really Tell doing the truth. that. Tell you the know, truth. what Fuji's wasn't doing this. Right. Yeah. The UK, the they were the first I saw do yeah. it. Absolutely. God bless the Fugees. Absolutely. And we had everybody from Exhibit to KRS One to Chino Excel. Yeah, that's a dope show. I you remember, remember that? I remember that, yeah. And they were playing everybody's music. They mm -hmm. knew everybody's music, mm -hmm. and Black Thought knew everybody's lyrics. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so it was like we were doing a summer jam of our own. Right. Right there at Lamarck Park in, in, in L.A. Yeah. And yeah, you got, yeah, remember, remember that? I remember that yesterday. Yeah. Now, that was 93. Yeah. We in 2017, and these dudes' stars are bigger and shining brighter Crazy. than they ever been. Look what they've done with their careers. It's the ha, 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 <laughs> the ha music. Yeah. That's my joint right there. <laughs> you was a Roots fan? We man. still play that. Really? Me and Doc, oh, what? Man. Roots, uh, Slum Village. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. I'm telling you, it's like, uh, uh, I don't like to categorize, yeah. you yeah. know what I mean? But... That proud hip hop, that hip hop that make you feel mm. proud that yeah. you listen to hip hop. Like, yeah. what are you talking about, mom? They play instruments. Yeah. It's the roots. <laughs> it's the roots, right? For real. Right. For real. But, but, so but, but, but what you kill thinking? that argument. But but back then we were very critical on MCs. Like yeah. it took a long yeah. time to get a thumbs up. What did you think when you first heard Black Thought spit? Um, I, I seen this dude rhyme for 120 hours straight and didn't even take a breath. <laughs> I was amazed. No, honestly, um, I always thought Black Thought had that that real MC voice. Um, his cadences were always dope. He always switched it up. He never just stuck to one groove. It was always something that, you know, kept your attention there, even from verse to verse, always kept your attention there, not to mention the fact that they all play well off of each other. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. What did you, wow, when thanks, you first man. heard Method Man? Um, I mean, the, the it, you know, exactly what, what you said earlier, uh, it was something that we hadn't heard before, you know? Um, really, the, the, the whole woo, Mm. You know, brought something that was just a breath of fresh air at at the time, but even within that unit, you know, uh, what Meth was doing was so uh, unique, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like it was uh, infectious 
you know? Wow. So, I mean, it's something that definitely uh, influenced a lot of people, you know, the whole generation, you know, generations to come after that. Mm-hmm. And then I feel like he's one of, uh, you know, just our, our, the greatest performers, you know, oh, period, yeah. you know, yeah. of our, yeah. you know, uh, of, 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 of our era. Uh-huh. Um, we just rocked. I mean, we shared a stage of, you know, times, yeah, yeah, quite yeah. a few times. But we, when we just did that uh, South by Southwest oh, a yeah. few months ago, mm-hmm. and Meth and Red came out and rocked, and um, it was dope. It was it was dope. And my man, like you know, uh, one of my part of my management team was standing there just like, you know, in awe uh-huh. watching the show. And when we got done, he was like, he said, "Joe, man." Yo, your man Meth, man, dude, like a fucking gazelle, yo. (laughs) But I knew what he meant. It's like, you know what I'm saying? He's Uh like, you know, he's an incredible performer Uh to watch. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's something that, uh, you know, it's it's the movement, it's the cadence, it's you know the the lyrics, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying. So uh, it's, yeah. it's something very unique that that this man does. I attribute that to New Edition. Thank you very much. I had a girlfriend named Robin. Yeah, I'm Lips comb. Uh, lips comb. Yeah, her uh-huh. brother Richard looked like Prince. Uh-huh. Straight like Prince. Hair do anything except he didn't dress like him. He was a little less androgynous. And she had every New Edition performance, not just videos performance from Soul Train to American bands that everything they ever mm. did and we would sit there for hours watching it I little gel you know it's my girlfriend loving New Edition but I learned a lot from that especially uh-huh. the movements every movement has to mean something in my opinion yeah. wow. and they just put something up about um, who give great hands uh-huh as when far as rap, MCs, yeah. right, right, yeah, yeah. right. I made the list. You made the I'm list? I'm glad I made the Who's list. Who's on the I'm list? Who gets great hands? A few people, a few uh, people. I uh-huh. would put Craig Mack on the list because Craig Mack used yeah, to do yeah, great yeah. hands. Yeah. He's good with his hands, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but your shit was, was crazy because you could dance too. Yeah. Uh-huh. I see, speaking of hands, I seen this man walk on the audience's palms. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? Like I've seen the crowd literally yeah. make Damn. a motion of hands like this yeah. and support this man. You know what I'm saying? I just got mad wow. at something over there too because somebody reported that um, I was trying to start a beef with Mac Lamore for doing it. No. What I was trying to do was let people know that he didn't oh, start he, he that. Oh, he does that? Yeah. I, yeah. I've never yeah. even seen Mac Lamore. Do- I've seen, I seen Mac Lamore should be letting people know. It wasn't crazy. even appropriation or nothing yeah. like that. I wasn't <laughs> even coming that way at him. Yeah, My thing nah. was, look, I started at that, yeah, you know what I'm saying. If you do it, pay homage. Don't don't go yeah. up there and act yeah. like you reinvented the wheel, brother. Yeah, because you didn't. Mm-hmm. I was the first one up there did it. People would say Iggy Pop. I'm not an Iggy Pop fan. Mm-hmm. I never heard any of Iggy Pop music, nor have yeah. I seen any footage on Iggy Pop. Mm-hmm. So miss me with the BS. Mm-hmm. Straight up, that was something that came from my heart that I felt like doing one night, and now everybody doing it and I want my credit I don't get a lot of credit for a lot of things but that there I'm going to put my stamp on that I want my I credit give them that I credit man give credit for that I definitely give credit for that fuck they trying to take credit mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> tired of that trying to take my shit yo white in the drawers ass nigga <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> think that, uh, yeah I said it <laughs> pay her mind you should know that <laughs> mm-hmm can't keep giving passes. Nah, but he did though. No, no, he, he, he did. a cool no, no, brother. No, no, no. Mac, he good. Mac he is good. a cool he brother. He's a good guy. Yeah. He's a real good guy. Yeah, he better be. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, no, he's mad cool. Macklemore, shout out to Macklemore. He better be. All right. <laughs> Yo, but then, then I, it, it fast. That's why I always when I bring up the roots. Surely there were people playing instruments and like that. But a galvanized hip hop band the way you guys um, are. Mm. Man, I didn't know nobody. nobody. I didn't see that. Nobody. Nobody was doing that until y'all was doing it. That who? Yeah. That's the Sonic? That's the Sonic? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, well, they playing instruments, though. Yeah, they well, were playing instruments. At least Bobby was playing the drums. Yeah, they, had, yeah. they, they had drums. It was some, a full band. Sometimes maybe I mean, uh, if that's a bass case, or something. Hill too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that's what I mean. Surely people played instruments. No, nah, they called themselves a hip-hop band. Yeah. They did. Yeah. It wasn't a full band. But they were a hip hop band. Yeah, shout, shout out to Stat. Yeah, yeah, we got to do that. Shout out to You're right. Go Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You're right. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Method Man is here. Black Thought, they're here. Hey, Matt, what, what I find fascinating is when we when we were coming up, um, well, yeah, I, shit, I'm a, I came up a little before you, but, you know, coming up in the game, um, you, you only kind of did one thing. You was an MC, it felt mm-hmm. like, you know. Mm-hmm. And and then when you tried to jump into other lanes, people almost frowned on it. Yeah, they did. Right? They, mm. they, they weren't, I don't know how they pictured me or, or what they expected from me, but 
I knew what I expected from myself, and it wasn't just rhyming. Mm -hmm. So many more, you know, layers to to my character. Even with the the weed smoking thing, which I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, there's so many more layers to who I am. The same way, there's so many more layers to the roots. It's not just you know a hip hop band. These dudes are culture. Mm -hmm. You know, they they. They have really like the hip hop tree can't grow without roots. I remember making that quote mm -hmm. one time, and and I mean once you get past the fact that okay these dudes rhyme or okay these dudes are bad, and you start to understand who the individual is, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure people didn't expect him to do as well as he did on the deuce. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 even though yeah. I knew for a fact because I've mm -hmm. seen his credits before mm -hmm. as far as acting goes, and he's a natural mm -hmm. at it. But people yeah. didn't expect that. So I them, need to come right. here like first thing every morning and just post up. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm yeah. Yeah. This is just gonna be great for my confidence. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. this, is, this is crazy. But, but, but Bamboozle was your first. What was your first? Uh, one? My first uh, time acting was a. Uh, Brooklyn Babylon. Oh, Brooklyn Babylon. Yeah, I think okay. like 1999, uh -huh. which was, you know, it was my first time acting and it was the lead sort of role, so I had to carry the whole yeah. joint. You know, it, it, was, it was dope. It was mm -hmm. it was a little guerrilla indie, but mm -hmm. I got to work with like Mad Lion and mm -hmm. Slick Rick was in that joint, mm -hmm. Brand Newbie, and that was mm -hmm. Common's first time on screen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so yeah, it was cool. Uh, Dead Prez, I think Dead Prez was in there. Heather, you did a good yeah. job too on that Luke Cage. Both of y'all did actually. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Felt real natural, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 yeah, Heather was yeah. killing that. Nah, man, I don't believe. Don't do your line, that. man. I had two lines. I was trying to make them stretch. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. <laughs> I got shot. No, no, no. Uh, I forgot her name. I forgot this lady's name, but she had the greatest quote. Black actress. She did a lot of uh, um, Raising in the Sun. Um, Olive, uh, Octavia. Was it Octavia? No, it wasn't oh, Octavia. Octavia. She's an so, old, old actor. Okay. I think she's passed away now. But, oh, okay. Um, okay. She um, said there aren't any small parts, just small actors. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter how small the, the dialogue is. It's what you do with it that mm -hmm. makes it bow. And you did that. You did, did that. That was mm -hmm. fun, too, man. Yeah. We travel around the world, and now little kids come up to me, Meth, and they say, you're the guy from Luke Cage. Yeah. <laughs> and I say, surely I am. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. You got that right, kid. You mm -hmm. want my autograph? Mm -hmm. God, that's dope. I'll take it. How's the Fallon gig going, man? Oh, it's going great. It's going great, you know. Um, time is flying, man. It's like we've been over there like nine years. Wow. I thought y'all did a, a five-year deal. Um, yeah, yeah, we did. We did We did that at, at one point, but then, you know. Got another yeah, one. We did another one. <laughs> 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 do, that's dope, you know what I'm um, how was that? Yeah. A, how has that affected? Like, how do you feel like that's imp impacted y'all career? Um, I mean, I feel like it definitely, uh, you know, it's it's afforded us different bridges mm -hmm. that we've been able to build, and um, you know, it's it's definitely gotten us a seat at the table, uh, mm -hmm. you know, where, you know, just in in in, in a different room than uh, you know the the roots mm -hmm. brand, like the, where the roots brand was uh, b beforehand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, that being said, you know, we, we we try to keep up appearances. We try to still do our little shows and stuff and mm -hmm. uh and everyone has their own personal outside interests, like, you know, Quest with the DJ and and, and he, you know, is a, a New York bestseller mm -hmm. author, mm -hmm. New York Times bestseller and I do, you know, the acting and mm -hmm. you know, we, we make all that pop with just uh I think eight weeks mm -hmm. left in a year. Like we're on at Fallon for uh, for forty four weeks a year, so that last you know, two months y'all yeah. going in. Well, it's spread out. You know, you get mm -hmm. a week here, two weeks there, but yeah, you know, pretty much just that puts it in perspective. We're recording and writing and mm -hmm. you know going on vacation and doing everything else that we kind of have to do in life during during uh, the the downtime. Right. You know, one of the things I was most fascinated by, then I'll get to the phone lines, let y'all jump in, is when we were on the set of Luke Cage. <clears throat> I watched you, Meth. Mm -hmm. I peed game. Mm -hmm. Your professionalism. Okay. <laughs> your knowledge of the set. Yep. Met was past. I heard you talking to directors and stuff about cameras, oh, about yes, shots. Mm -hmm. You know, 
He knew our lines. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, Swear you fucked that one up. Just be more natural. Yeah. You know, you know, and, and you carried us along with it. But you know, I've worked in TV since 2000, so I know, I know, I know yeah. the behind the scenes I stuff. Meth. I did a couple movies. Don't stop, man. Stop. But that was just me trying to get comfortable in that surrounding that I was in and mm -hmm. uh, and absorb myself in what we were doing. Because I mean, I'm sitting there with with you and. Heather, but, you know, this is a fictional world. I mean, we all real, but we're yeah. in a fictional world. So I had to immerse myself in the world. And part of that is getting the director to convince me that I'm actually there. Yeah. All right, well, where this shot at? All right, well, what's that going to look like? Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all going to light it like how? And when do we start? Yeah. Let's get it cracking. And you was right on top of it. Yeah. So when I watch you in the deuce and, and, I, and I see you with the perm. Yeah. You know, and... The hardest thing for me to do is see get past. Yeah, get past. This is my friend, mm -hmm. and when I'm able to get past, this is my friend. And I realize how talented my friend has oh, wow. become. Thank you. You know, Thanks. because now I get excited when I see you in movies. <laughs> <laughs> Tariq, when I see Black Thought in movies, because I like to see how y'all, knowing that you're my friend, how they going to execute this and convince us? Yeah. I think it's that energy where yeah. it's like, I, I feel the same way whenever somebody from our, our genre or our, our form of entertainment steps yeah. into another realm of entertainment as far as acting. I'm always rooting for the rapper in the yeah. movie from ASAP yeah. when he mm -hmm. was in uh, the that uh, dope, dope. Uh -huh. you, just every Nas. I'm mm -hmm. still rooting for you, Nas. You're gonna get better, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Nas is natural though. He's natural. That's just Nas's demeanor. It's yeah. just you just got to get used to that. But how you, you know get I mean? better though? Because you you gotten better over the years. I went and um, took lessons. Uh -huh. uh, I took classes. Um, I was in my class for about two two three weeks and. Uh -huh. um, I was in the first. You get a scene partner, and my me and my scene partner, we had to act out uh, Philadelphia. Uh -huh. I was Denzel. He was the AIDS patient. It went kind of cool. I was just too brief on the phone. The, the coach said or whatever. Um, and my next uh, guy that I got booked with, my next scene partner was a uh, dude from Tupac movie. Okay, uh -huh. uh, Ship. Uh -huh. That's his name, right? Oh, Ship. Yeah. yeah. Ship. Yeah. But then I got booked for Keanu, so I couldn't do it. Okay. But I went through every lane to get to where I have to be now. I mean, so much so that I went out to L.A. and slept on my manager's couch. I could have got me in a, a, you know, a hotel or whatever, uh -huh. but I was immersed in trying to be just that, leave that whole world alone, that whole entertain, you know, method man, rap, whatever, uh -huh. leave that alone. I'm an actor now. This is what we do. We sleep on our manager's couches and we go to auditions. Uh huh. And that's so what it was. You lived the life. Yeah, I think auditioning, which I hate, and you, you, you just you yeah, said yeah, the same I thing. Hate, hate auditioning, but... I think it helps in a sense that, you know, it helps keep your yep. keep you thing sharp. fine too. Yeah. Keep you sharp. So yeah. when you play Rodney uh, in, in The Deuce, yeah. what, what did you use? Did you just go hang out in Oakland and just study pimps? Or like, I mean, what, what, how did you do it? Uh, man, looking at uh, Thoughts um, performance, <laughs> I should have studied him, man. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, he was killing yeah. that man. Come on, in that Reggie bus Love. station, yeah. that just yeah. set the tone for the rest of the series. I don't yeah. care what nobody yeah. say uh -huh. or how they say Give it, it up for Reggie Love, y'all. Reggie, Reggie Love, Love, baby. Reggie, Reggie Love. Love. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I don't forgot the question. I was just, you know. How I do you for, get better? You no, just, you you know what it, the, the the best thing somebody told me was you know when they said you got natural ability don't don't get coached and stuff like uh -huh. that because when you do that I, I'm guessing they told me that because you second guess yourself you get too technical yeah. or you too immersed whereas you can't have fun with it anymore um, I disagree I think those people were just hating they just don't want their spot taken uh -huh. you know uh -huh. you want somebody get good uh -huh. I think I, I think you know, uh, using a coach is essential yeah. uh -huh. at you know any level uh -huh. like you know what I'm saying. Uh, Al Pacino is not going to do a film without using a coach. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, it makes a diff a huge difference mm -hmm. when there's a different set of eyes, you know, in the, you know, digital village, video village over there, mm -hmm. watching shit as it's going to tape that has your specific interests mm -hmm. at, at heart and, mm -hmm. and, and, and in mind. You know, the, the director, the producers, they got everybody else to think about. Mm -hmm. But when you work with a coach, you know, like, because I, I work with a coach and I, they allow him on, on sets. Like, when I'm working on a film or oh, when I was doing a dude yeah, my oh. coach is right there oh. and he's I'm the only person he's watching and he knows you know how, like what shots I need to get in uh -huh. to be best represented in the production you know uh -huh. what I'm saying uh -huh. shout out my coach uh, Kevin Carroll my, my shout coach. out Kevin <laughs> Carroll and all that goes on right Ow! Uh, but you know as far as research for the part yeah. I didn't I, I, you can't look at 
Willie Dynamite uh-huh. as opposed uh-huh. to the Mac. You could watch the Mac, but yeah. you can't take anything literal in the Mac. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You got to really look at the actual pimps. You got to look up some players' ball type stuff. You yeah. got to see how they talk, their mannerisms, everything. Because uh, uh, when you look at a Willie Dynamite, like I said before, that was just a parody of what pimps are. Uh-huh. You know, that dude talking like this. And, Magnificent, baby. Nigga look at him like he crazy out here. Yeah, yeah, that ain't thing. You know what I mean? Don't bitch imagine want to look at him like, there's something wrong with this nigga, yeah. church. <laughs> there's something really wrong with this nigga, church. <laughs> right? Hey. So, some type of realism, and I mean, David Simon, I mean, George, George, David, Neil. Mm-hmm. They entrench themselves in realism as far as they do all the research, everything. So when they bring you a product, they make sure that they dotted all the I's yeah, and crossed all the T's. Yeah. So this this is deduces about how the porn uh, prostitution or the porn industry became legitimate legitimized, right? Mm-hmm. More or less. <clears throat> Did y'all watch any porn leading up to this? Uh, just to kind of get um I mean I think I'm all caught up. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I'm all caught up on that on that research. Yeah. Came to the table with yeah, the research. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't need to research the role. Yeah, no. <laughs> Can I ask you this because uh, Meth, when you were just talking about um, your approach to acting and things like that, and I, I think I noticed. I don't know if it's if it happened before this role, but I noticed when you did the Cobbler with Adam Sandler and yeah. you started using your real name. Yeah. yeah. And and that made me wonder, like, and, and for Black, this goes for you too. Uh, how, how do you separate the artist's approach to, like, say, doing an album to approaching a role, whether it's big or small, something like this in the deuce? Like, how do you prepare for the part versus how you prepare for doing music? Um, I think, uh, you know, if, if you're an artist at, at heart, it could be, you know, if you're an artist, you know, well, you could say today I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to do something in, in pencil. Tomorrow it'll be a, a paintbrush. The next day it could be multi-medium, mm-hmm. right? Um if you're an artist, that's applicable across the board in that, you know, today it could be visual. Tomorrow it could be music. To mm-hmm. The next day it could be movement. Mm-hmm. But it's all still art. And uh, at its best, you want you want uh, the art to have depth and dimension. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you want it to be able to uh, to bring about emotion in, in whoever, in, you know, in, in the beholder, uh, I, I guess. So, you know, that it's, it, it goes across the board. It's just the, the medium is ever-changing. But uh, if you're an artist, then it, you, you want your craft to be... You know, you want you want there to be layers to the onion. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And when he says artist, that means like there's a plethora of things, not just putting you in one category. I mean, you're an artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I, since we're talking act, we're kind of having like a, 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 a actors conversation, man. I, I thought I'd bring some more actors into it. I, I got Sam Barnett. Samuel Barnett is here. I got Elijah Wood over here. You know, they from Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. Crazy. You know, on BBC wow. America. You know. I, hey, hey guys, I just got yeah, man, just join in the conversation. Yeah, just, yes, you know. I actually I actually met Elijah in Staten Island. Yeah. Uh, right on, right in front of the mural that, you know, to uh, protect your oh, neck. Uh, can white. it be all so simple? Yeah, black mm. and white. Very cool dude. Wasn't shook at the experience, nothing like that. <laughs> but you know what? I kept I kept their attention enough that they didn't see the killers. Walking yeah, around, I like, know he was surrounded by name? killers. Right, Elijah Wood was surrounded by killers. Yeah, when he was. Did yeah, he was. Him, Brooke. Yeah, Brooke, yeah. and uh, um, but you know who was? I ain't even gotta say it. You know, the mama and the papa's baby, uh, Bijou. Uh-huh. Bijou was cooler than a cucumber in there, boy. Okay. Like she was home yeah. in Park Hill. Yeah. White girl. Uh huh. Five foot two. Well, well, white girl gonna be safe there though. No, Bijou was just hood as. If you don't yeah. know Bijou, yeah. Bijou is bout it. Let's put it that way. She <laughs> bout that life. Really? Bijou bout that life. I, I remember we went to Staten. Every time I went to Staten Island, I I was on alert. You was on alert. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta be on alert, yeah. man. Hey, man, join us. We just having a conversation, Elijah. Just, just you know, you, what, you what are y'all talking about? Incredible work in Maniac, by the way, sir. Thank yes. you so much. Yeah. Incredible. Thank you. Uh, just music. These guys, uh, you know, their careers, how, how it's evolved into, you know, and we're trying to get their and secrets. what extraordinary so. careers. My God, both yeah. of you. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. such admirers yeah. of both of you. Hell, yeah. you the Thanks, plug, man. get me Thank in the you. building. <laughs> <laughs> you the plug, baby. I'm just saying. You know, what can, why, why, yeah, could that happen? Like, you do a lot of indie projects, too, so why can't... But look, let's get them all together. Let's Sam, get it, Sam's Frodo. Up in this. <laughs> let's go. Let's fucking get it, bro. Let's go, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
showed that too. Let's get it, man. Uh, all right, let's go to the phone lines too. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. We uh we got uh let me see uh Kiki from St. Louis. What up, Kiki? Kiki, what's up? Good morning, Sway. What's up, Heather B? What up? <laughs> hey, peace and love to everybody in the studio this morning. Black thought, hey, but I'm uh, Kiki, the first lady calling from St. Louis, calling to get my brother Method Man. I man, knew who it was. I knew it. as soon as I heard Kiki in St. Louis. I knew who it was. What's up, Kiki? What's going on, babe? How you doing? I'm good. I'm really hood. That's all good. But hey, the deuces, love the show, love your work. <laughs> I just want to give you props on that Appreciate and just that. say keep it going, baby. Keep it going. How them babies? Everybody's good, you know, still on the radio here in St. Louis, still getting it popping. That's what's up. Love her. <laughs> okay, Kiki, what up, Kiki? I knew it was, too. That's why I put you on. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> what up, son? Yeah, all right. We got uh, Max from my hometown, Oakland. Max, what up? What up, what up? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Take all that garbage. Legends, you, got. you got garbage in your phone. That's big gig. <laughs> <laughs> we can't hear you. Say it again. Yeah, all sorry. Right, sorry. Right, you know, all right. Uh, we got the original Chew from Canada. Go ahead. You. Hey, what's up, everybody? Quick question. Go ahead. What is it? Uh, just want to say, first of all, dope respect to giving respect to New Edition. Uh, yeah, but yes. I wanted to ask uh, yes. Meth, yeah. what's what's the your favorite verse you've ever written? Um, the one I'm about to write about you. No, um, <laughs> wow. my favorite verse I ever written. I'm I'm. Uh, it's hard to remember. I, I'm gonna say Shadow Boxing because it was just a new um type of flow for me. I hadn't rhymed the slow records up to that point really. Dope. What, yeah. what about you? Like that? Um, I like uh, uh, verse one on uh. On uh, clock with no hands, mm. and uh, mm. also also like verse one on uh, dear God. Those are two of my favorite nice. Uh, verses. Nice. Mm. Okay, damn, you dug deep. I like uh, that. Yeah. yeah, you thought about this before, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. People ask you that sometimes. Big, 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 uh, big MC right here. Big respected MC right here. Uchi Wally. People argue uh-huh. is the best verse in the Uchi Wally song. <laughs> big horses right. here. Big horses in the what's building. Up? Big horses here. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, this is for Meth right here. Hey, Meth. Um, everybody know about the weed smoke and all that. Yeah. What's better, weed? The one six oo from back in the days or today's so called loud? Um, you know what? That weed in Park here, that shit was horrible. We ain't know no better though. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, the Cali, I, I'm gonna say the best weed in the world, and I'm gonna go out on a limb here Uh-oh. right now, is Northern Cali. Yeah. yeah. Period. They got yeah, the crown period. and they ain't lost it, and I don't think they ever gonna lose uh, it. They got the most flavorful, best trees out there. Ain't that right, Elijah? <laughs> yeah, come on, Mr. Woody. Come on. I, I am no, from California. Yes, yeah. 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 that's, 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 that's really it. That's the best weed in the world. I, I, I'm from Oakland, so. Uh, yeah. the, 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 the best weed in New York City back in the day for me was that that uh, that Cambodian or that or that Africa Black mm. from uh, one one thirteenth in Morningside. That one thirteen. Wow. Crazy. Why did why does he remember the block? I mean, <laughs> come on, duh. <laughs> One thirteenth in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that was God that damn. was it. Like. Shout out to Paul Meadow. Yeah, we used to go up there. And now another question, Mef. It's only really four weed smokers that really know who get down is you, mm-hmm. Red, mm-hmm. Wiz, mm-hmm. and Snoop. Okay. Who smoked the most at all four? Um you know what? They clip they blunts. I don't. So mm. I'ma say me. And mm-hmm. we smoke joints, so yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know what? I'm not taking that crown. Red man, <laughs> doc, red, red, doc, red. doc, 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 doc. Because when I work, I don't smoke at all. Like mm. I'm, I'm real sober mm. right now. Mm. I wasn't sober earlier though, but I'm sober. You right, right now. now. <laughs> I'm sober right now. Okay. Anything? Uh, yo, listen, fellas, for real. Before y'all get out of here, had a lot of MCs come up here. Oh. <laughs> oh. I definitely. Oh. This is my one. I'm up here for strictly this only. Oh. I came to hear Mef do his bounce. Ain't nobody bouncing like that. And I heard Black I heard Black Thought just just do what you always do. For real. That's what I'm here for. Uh-oh. True okay. facts. That's coming from Big Horse, man. That's, that's all I'm asking. Damn, I might have to read my, damn, I I have to read my care, shit because Big Thought, man. You got to get one of those waters? Uh, uh, water. Black Thought of water. Black Thought went, ah. Uh, but hand me that water over there. <laughs> uh, okay, man. Method Man. Shit. Sway oh, the yeah. morning. Shade 4-5. Okay. Okay. But just brand okay. new written, brand new. I might written. have to, I might have to go up in my phone. Brand don't new. don't hate me for it, alright? Nah, it's brand new. He all just right. wrote this for the show. Elijah Sam, you in for a treat uh, right now. Samuel, let's go. Check it, check it. Yo, yo. 
Yo, look. I'm a hundred miles and still running. This funky drum got a hundred rounds and still gunning. I'm still dumping one in your pumpkin, I feel nothing. The same smoke with a different stroke, you feel drumming. I feel stunning on Matt Damon, this real stunting. I'm good with Will at the Goodwill, Goodwill hunting. I found that rappers ain't proactive, I'm still bumping. Lost in me and my arm beat, I still something. Alright, my poker face, you're still bluffing. Cousin, call your Annie up, the deal coming. House of cards, they see him trying to build something. They bearing arms, but this arm can steal from him. Chill. Young in this meth thugging and ill will And any problem I can't solve that ill will Yak down and kill a hill That's Kill Bill Five point palm and your heart gone It's Kill Bill Ah! You heard him right there M-E-T-H-O-D man Sway the morning shade for a five yeah. We got Black Dark yeah. ready to rock Shit was all good just a week ago, or was it? They say the money is time and the reaper know the budget. Or lift the limits to sky and we could go above it. The hood metabolism high, heat ain't good for nothing. We was out of hope and hustling. Cooking something down to a reduction. What's your object of desire? Your topic of discussion when you agile on your legs. The coastline cradle, your ivory castle on the edge. Like a tassel on the feds. Listen, like the day never see the eyes of the children were ever saw. We sprayed a tattoo the face of the building night after night. Transcend color like a chameleon. Black and white divided the soldier from. The civilian, the first cut is the deepest, the worst part is repeated. We play, make it and take it. We said, finding the keeper for building another Egypt, revealing another secret. We eating, making a killing, spilling the blood of Jesus. My conscience was immaculate before the packages. Now we the advocates for every sort of sacrilege. The higher ground watered down till a fire drown. Where a precious life is lost, you and I are found. The mess is over when you learn. Beef ain't over for carrying ashes in the urn. Yeah, I'm saying, yo, that's diminishing returns. Check it out, method man back to Burns. Hey, ah. hey, hey, check it. Hey, uh, sway uh, the morning, shake uh. four five. Yeah, yeah. Give me one more. Come on, ready? Come on. No, 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 no. Keep that beat on. That's my. That's J I D. Is the man. He the man. All right, look, look, look. Look, you seen Casino, where we live by that credo Lot of chicken and ski hoes, just to massage the ego If I'm tripping it's CeeLo, what you sniffing is Primo About a quarter keto, increase your woman libido Hand, you know how we go, whip it like Devo Lock down the strip and then break the key in the keyhole huh. Not by the peep though, people, this ain't no peep show This here a knock at the door, with a gun on the Pico Haha, <laughs> LMAO, I ain't tell them I'm cold Till they nose is running, like I'm out here selling them snow Let me hold something, young and you can tell her be told Honey told you she sell a bit, not meaning sell a bit no, is it that y'all don't live it? Y'all tweet back. Come on, admit it. Your feet is hungry for feedback. Come on and get it. Buy a skillet. She ain't your woman. If I hit it, you sees me calling me Uncle Meth when I visit. Holla. Black Johan Sebastian is Ohana fashion. Yo, Connie really showing no signs of gasping. Go find a caption to explain the neutron and proton attraction and drop. Tell him call him Captain Rock I started at the bottom Now I'm lonely at the top I ain't hardly finished climbing No, I'm only at the top I figured I should probably Show him, show him what I got So Something nasty skirted off the lot It's darker than the kettle I am blacker than the pot I am all day composing classics like Vivaldi Graffiti on the walls of the hollow hallway The urban legend go from Uruguay to Norway The gourmet that leave him rapping on heaven's doorway The hood fella with the Hermes edge Number one storyteller with the survey says Y'all late the rise, I get up as early as eggs Grind eight to five, preaching to the choir so sanctified Move muscle from the hate to the gangster side Y'all all the way turned up, but I'm amplified Oh. And 215 cruising down Lincoln Drive Take your time making history Cause I'm making mine on a job I'm truly renaissance, dominate the web Television, movies and beyond When a leader get to speaking It's your duty to respond I'ma leave these niggas leaking like I'm Julian Assange Come on. Press rewind, never contest the dime I'm coming from the south side Like the Mexican cartel Coming to flame things Me and Meth, the legendary Roots Crew Tang uh, Yeah, yeah Hold on, oh, oh, oh. We Hold got on. I got one Met more. the man got one more. I'm sipping OJ in the Bronco next to this Henny bottle. Skinny model, she clearly sniffing that Benny Blanco. Mommy te amo. No cigar, but cigar hablando. Cigar my mando. This ain't the combo for me and mano. Let's get it pronto. Have my burro Siciliano. I spit bananas since no one managed to kill Banano. Got bad grammar, but y'all don't quote me. I keep it bama. Like Thor and I get low key, so keep a hammer. And you can't touch this. About my chicken, you barely cutlets. These rappers is barely cutting the mustard. I'm, I'm so disgusted, so disgusted. I can't discuss it If Metro Boomin can't even trust it Don't even touch it Won't be a puppet You bring me drama I bring the ruckus To be specific Won't really kick it I bring the buckets I be the roughest Rootin' tootin' and slang shootin' No plan for losing, man I'm just planning a clan reunion Woo, damn, Woo, 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 Woo I wasn't supposed to come after that last verse Yo, 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 yo
You got to hear it right here on Sway the Morning. Shade 45. Give it up for Method Man. Give it up for Black Thought. Hey, y'all, could I, could I say something real quick? Absolutely. The do Sundays, 9 p.m., HBO. I got to pee. Sundays. <laughs> You you go go for it, man. Thank, Thank you. you very much, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> Appreciate you. That's my that's our, our co-star on Luke Cage right there. Heather just walked out the building. Black Thought, I can't express Yo, enough. You, Thanks for having me, bro. Tremendously proud and inspired by you guys. Ah man. Uh, man, I appreciate it. You my brother, man. Good to see you, sir. You already know. All right. It's sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45. <laughs> Kimo.